I'm here with Professor Jose Carlos Machado from Medical Faculty in Epatibum of Porto, and we would like to discuss with him about TCR receptor sequencing and if this is going to bring new insight in the mononcology puzzle. What is your opinion of the main uh, promise of the TCR receptor sequencing approach? Well, uh, I think the immune oncology field is really uh, exploding uh, right now. Um, there are many challenges, but definitely one of the main challenges has to do with biomarkers that help you predict who are the patients that will benefit more from this type of therapy. Um, the field of the biomarkers is evolving rapidly uh, and I don't think people are very happy with what is available right now. So there is a demand for um, more sensitive, higher resolution biomarkers in this, in this area. So TCR sequencing, I think, will help in this, in this um, challenge. Because in fact, when we talk about TCR sequencing, we are actually talking about neoantigens in the tumor. So you get a specific TCR clone because there is a T cell that is detecting a specific neoantigen in, in the cancer cell. So ultimately, TCR sequencing will provide you with the highest level of resolution you need in order to predict uh, um, response to, to immunotherapy. Of course, we need to couple this with additional information. There is information that needs to come from the tumor, tumor sequencing and so on. But I think TCR sequencing will have a major impact in this specific field. And what are the actual methods at the moment to investigate TCR receptor diversity? Okay, right now there, are, there is actually a high diversity of methods. So you have methods that are based on RNA extraction, methods with st that, that start with uh, genomic DNA. You have all sorts of things. Depending on the method, there are some identified drawbacks. You know that um, amplification bias is an important issue. The level of resolution for most of the methods is not that big. They are essentially based on the CDR3 region. So although those methods are kind of enough for some of the mainstream applications right now, there are many situations where they are simply not enough to tackle the problem. Uh, NGS sequencing based TCR sequencing will provide an unprecedented level of resolution and this extra resolution coupled with the capacity to sequence as well CDR1 and CDR2 regions will bring the ability to tell apart different TCR clones to a level which has not been attained before. So I think the number of cancer cases, for instance, or hematological cancer cases, where you cannot define clonality will be frankly lower than what it is today. That's a very important fact. But the other point is our overall capacity to characterize TCR, identify specific clones in a complex mixture of cells, will also, will also come to a level which we didn't have before. So this, I think, will make a major impact. And I suppose that some of the consequences of this increased capacity to sequence TCR cannot be really you know, identified right away, but there will be many th important things, also in terms of the uh, biology of the normal immune system, so to say. That, that's also an area where this type of resolution will be very, very handy, so to say. Can you tell us more about your research? Yeah, uh, so we, we are doing, um, we are looking at cancer and we are very much interested in understanding how the immune system deals with cancer cells. At this stage, we already know that when we talk about the immune system, it's not always activation of the immune system. There is a part of the immune system which has to do with suppressive activity. So it's not always killing cancer cells. Part of it is actually downregulating the immune system. And you have myeloid-derived cells, that's known, but you also have T-regulatory cells. And that's essentially what we are interesting right, interested in right now. So TCR sequencing will be very important here because if we manage to sort away effector T cells from regulatory T cells which have a suppressive activity and then we can use TCR to look at the clones that compose each of these subpopulations, we'll learn a great deal about how T regs are generated in the immune microenvironment, whether they come from the thymus or whether they are generated locally. I mean, there are a lot of bio basic biology related questions that can be answered because of this specific methodology, but we can also have a better estimate of what's actually in the tumor. 
it's not perhaps enough to simply count T cells or look at T cell uh, diversity, it's also important to know in which subpopulation that diversity lies. Is it in effector cells? Is it in regulatory suppressive cells? So the research project we are conducting goes very much around this, this questions. And again, um, TCR sequencing is, is a key uh, methodological approach in order to, 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 to move forward with these questions. Thanks again for staying with us today. It's a pleasure.